say what's on my mind what is good it's jamon with nathaniel back with another dst fitness video today and from the title of today's video y'all know what it is i got a question and i also got an answer so let's get into today's video so i got written in off of tiktok this kid asked me how can i exercise easier because i have a lot of back pain and it's hard for me to do a simple push-up. So pretty much when it comes to working out and if, if you're, whether you're beginning and you have some type of back pain, knee pain, shoulder pain, whatever it may be, or you're advanced and you have back pains, knee pain, shoulder pains, the advice I'm gonna give, it goes for both ways, whether you're a beginner or you're in advanced. And that's just that you have to modify it. Everything that you do, you have to modify it. So if you know that your knees are hurting and that you can't really do um, extension of your quad or of your of your leg or whatever it may be, or flexion of your knee, my bad, it's flexion of your knee. If you're doing flexion of your knee and that hurts, then maybe that you you shouldn't do the motions that are like leg extensions, squats, um, anything like that. So if it's the opposite where like it doesn't hurt to do anything that, that works your hamstring, so extension of your knee, then you may be able to do hamstring curls, you may be able to do deadlifts, who knows? You just have to mess around and see what, what works best for you. That's where a personal trainer or an exercise physiologist will come into play because then you can really, you know, tackle what's going on and you figure out what's the best way of uh, tackling this issue, figuring out this issue. But other than that, so you, you know what your, where your pain is at. Let's say that you know that you can't do this, this or that. You modify the workouts and then you're ready to go. Once you do those two things, you're able to really like create a workout plan and base around that. So you say you're having stroke, struggles doing push-ups. If you can't do a full-on push-up, have you done a knee push-up? That takes a little bit more weight off of your upper body so that you can do the push-up easier. Have you done a wall push-up where you're just on a wall and you're just doing a push-up like that? So there's a lot of ways that you can go about doing push-ups. There's a lot of ways you can go about doing bench press, you know? You can try doing bench press on the, on the ground where your, your shoulders are much more retracted back onto the ground and you're not having to go back as far, especially with dumbbells or something like that. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of different things that you can do to kind of tackle this issue. Um, I know that for myself, my freshman year of college, no, excuse me, my sophomore year of college, I injured my shoulder really bad. I was going heavy on shoulder press and somebody came and nicked the weight and I should just dropped it. I should just let it go. I should just dropped it. But I think me trying to catch it made it worse rather than just like dropping it down. So that like really fucked up my shoulder. And I still feel pains in it every once in a while, but ever since then, like, it's it has made it like it's just been terrible. Like I couldn't, you know, do any type of bench press. I couldn't do any type of shoulders. I couldn't do. I could barely do back. Like it was really hard to do or get a workout in without feeling this pain in my shoulder. So I took some time off from the gym. I took some time off from exercising. And after a few months of kind of like rehabilitating myself, icing. Uh, just giving myself the proper rest I needed, it was able to kind of heal back up. But when I came back to the gym, I still would notice that like some, some exercises would cause it to flare up. So then I had to go in and figure out what I needed to do in order to limit that as much as possible. So for example, you see a lot of people that do bench press and their grip is pretty wide out. Like they go to where that, that little like slit, that little divot is on the bar, they put their hands there and you know, they start benching, right? But for me, I have to go into a closer grip because the further you go out, the more activation of your shoulders will happen, right? So that you, you can get stronger. You could probably push more weight the further you go out because you're using your chest and you're using your shoulders. But like I said, you, you're using more shoulders. So there's a more, much more of a possible risk of injuring your shoulders rather than just you know going closer in and focusing on your chest. And at first it's gonna be when you go closer in, it's gonna be harder because I remember I was working with my friend and he's a he's a um, athletic trainer 
And it was funny because he, this is all he does. He does, he like, he rehabilitates people. He, he helps people get back from injured to perfect, right? So he was gonna help me through my, my shoulder injury. And he was telling me like, yeah, man, when you, when you go closer in, it's gonna suck at first. Because that weight that you're pushing before, it's, it's almost like you gotta start over. You're going down to a plate, plate 25. And you, you gotta rep that out. You gotta, start, you gotta build it back up again. But when you do it right, you're only not gonna feel pain in your shoulder anymore. You're also gonna get stronger because you're using much more of your, your chest. And your chest is far more stronger than your shoulders. So that's kind of what I did. And it took me a long time to kind of get back from doing wide grip to just kind of going into like a narrow grip and doing it from there. But guess what? When I did do that, the pain in my shoulders went away and my, my bench did go back up and it went further up than what it was at before. So all I'm saying is at the end of the day, we're all gonna have pain. We're all gonna have some type of something going on. And this is gonna happen in, hopefully this doesn't happen in everybody's finished journey, but for a lot of people, it does happen. But instead of figuring out, okay, I need to stop, you need to go do research and figure out how to modify the workout, how to modify, how to work around this injury because there's stuff that you can still do that may not cause it to, to flare up that you can, you know, still get a good workout in with. So that will conclude today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all know the drill. Comment, like, subscribe. Tell your mama, tell your daddy, tell your cat. And I'll see you guys in the next video.